Character coaches, sports chaplains, let's think for a little bit today about the process of mentoring, being a mentor, being mentored by someone else. How does that work for you? Earlier I did a conference call with some coaches, some character coaches and sports chaplains, and talked to them about mentoring. And first thing I asked them, asked them was, who's been a mentor to you and related to what aspects of life and ministry? And we talked about a bunch of people that they had known before for a long time, other people they had only recently met, but each of them had people in their lives that were really solid mentors. I asked them, on what basis did you choose your mentors? And some of them mentioned things like wisdom observed. They had watched and seen this person really do well. They'd seen wisdom lived out by that person. Sometimes it was the other way around. The mentor chose the mentee, sought that person out and called them alongside some of the others, they talked about presence. Uh, they were just there, and, and the attitude they observed in those people was really winsome and helpful. Others, it came about by networking. Somebody had said, hey, you need to meet this person, or you need to meet that one, and that's what made it go. Uh, we also talked about what are you looking for in mentors and mentees, and some of the qualities were things like teachability, humility, fit. Is there a passion there that fits us? selflessness, hunger, being engaging in, in terms of personality, and then being super relational. All those things seem to fit both ends of the spectrum, the mentor, the mentee, everywhere along the process. If we find people like that, let's give our lives to them. Let's learn from each other. Let's pour our lives into each other, and we'll have a great avenue of service for a long time. Be a mentor. Be mentored by someone, please.